But again, this is the problem, is that you make these facile arguments like that women are somehow mistreated in the Muslim world. Well, that's certainly true in many Muslim-majority countries like Iran and Saudi Arabia. Do you know that Muslims have elected seven women as their heads of states uh, in those Muslim-majority countries? How many women but it is do not, we have but as head for the of most part, in Reza, the United States? Reza, be honest, though, for the most part, it is not a, a free and open society for women in those states. Well, it's not in Iran. It's not in Saudi Arabia. It certainly is in Indonesia and Malaysia. It certainly is in Bangladesh. It certainly is in Turkey. I mean, again, this is the problem, is that you're talking about a religion of one and a half billion people, and certainly it becomes very easy to just simply paint them all with a single brush by saying, well, in Saudi Arabia, they can't drive, and so therefore that's somehow representative of Islam. It's representative of Saudi Arabia. But, but in on, Iran, think, they, I, don't, I, they don't have... I mean, I think that Bill Maher's point is that these aren't extremists. We often talk about extremists and that we should crack down on extremists and why aren't Muslims speaking out about extremists. In Saudi Arabia, when women can't vote and they can't drive and they need permission from their husband, that's not extremists. Why aren't we talking why? more about what? That, that's not extremists, that's commonplace. Why don't we talk more about the commonplace uh, wrongs no, a, that are happening in some of these countries? It's extremist when compared to the rights and, uh, and responsibilities of women, uh, Muslim women around the world. It's an extremist way of dealing with it. But it's not extremist in that country in Saudi Arabia. That's the norm. Oh, yeah, no, it's not. Saying. I mean, look, Saudi, Arabi Saudi Arabia is the, one of the most, if not the most extremist Muslim country in the world. In the month that we've been talking about ISIS and their terrible actions in uh, Iraq and Syria, Saudi Arabia, our closest ally, has beheaded 19 people. Nobody seems to care about that because Saudi Arabia uh, sort of preserves our national interests. Okay. You know, this is the problem is that these kinds of conversations that we're having aren't really being had in any kind of legitimate way. We're not talking about women in the Muslim world were using two or three examples to justify a generalization. That's actually the definition of bigotry. All right, fair enough.